Nanonets has released another version of their OCR model. Around 4 months ago, I covered their first model and it was quite promising but was not there yet. But it seems that in this new model, they have added a lot of features which are right in the foray of real world use cases. For example, you can do OCR on flowcharts, you can even do OCR on forms with radio button and checkboxes, you can deal with latex and you can do a lot of other things with this new model and that is what we are going to try it out after installing it locally. The great thing is that it is Apache 2 license as far as I know and seems quite an improvement as compared to the last model. So let's get started. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. I am going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card which is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. The tool which I am going to use for this video is VLLM. I already have it installed. If you don't know what VLLM is, just go to my channel, search with VLLM and you should be able to find this first video which is uh, I would say one of the easiest tutorial on the internet to get this VLLM installed and you should be up and running in no time even if you have never heard of this really really cool inference engine not only you can use it locally for this testing but you can even surf your models at scale for the community and no matter what the scale is you can easily use this VLLM along with SGLang and few other tools but this video is not about VLLM so let's get go back and let's get this installed I'm all doing uh, all I'm doing here is I'm just serving this nanonets OCR to 3 billion model on my local host at port 8000 now once you run it it detects your CUDA and then from there it starts downloading it and if you're looking to rent a GPU or VM on very affordable price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. I also want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent, which is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application that empowers you to build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce. The model is being downloaded. It's not a very huge model, but still good enough. As you can see, just over seven gig, but as long as I believe um, the performance is good, we should be fine with the size. I just want to give you a very quick overview around its training. So what they have done for this new version of NanoNets, they have tried to opt for high precision optical character recognition or OCR. So they assembled a data set of over 3 million pages and that data set consists of uh, research papers, financial reports, legal contracts, healthcare records, tax forms, receipts, invoices and a lot of other things. They also included some images of plots, equations, signatures, watermarks, checkboxes and we, we, we will test all of them. One of the things which I really want to test out is how it deals with flowcharts. It doesn't really go well with very, very complex flow charts and organizational charts, but still for normal day to day uh, things, I think that should be good enough. So we are going to test it out. So on this data set, they first trained the model on um, synthetically and then they fine tuned it on a manually annotated data set. Now the base model here is guess which one, Quen 2.5 VL 3 billion, which I believe is one of the best models still out there. Well, Quen 3 VL has beaten it now, but still in 3 billion size, you won't really find another open source Apache 2 model, which we have covered on the channel too. So base model is Alibaba's Quen 2.5 and then this uh, fine tuned it as I mentioned earlier on that data set. So this is what this model is. Let's go back and check what is happening. Okay. So, okay. It's good that it has added out. I'll show you what, is, what has happened here. Okay. So there you go. So you see, it cannot find this nickel library. So I just need to get it installed. Let me quickly do that. And this is what we need to install that nickel. So let's do this. And the model is now being served as you can see. Let me just minimize it. I have also just fired up open web UI. You can also find that in the same video which I showed you earlier, but 
open web ui it is just a gui on top of vllm and any other um, backend so you can see that my nano nets ocr2 3 billion is loaded let me start selecting the images so i'm just going to go with a bit of a hard one at the very start let's start with an invoice so this is an invoice i will also show you so this is just an and all the images by the way which i'm going to use are ai generated now i'm just going to close it and i will just ask it is this invoice paid if not how much i owe and to whom so this is just a vqa or visual question answering we will see if it can do the ocr on tabular data which is not the structure it says not mentioned whereas it is mentioned okay so i'll just ask it again um what is not mentioned which is not mentioned and i'm not going to you know add it or anything i'm just showing you as is i will ask it okay how much amount is due 400 that is good so you have your prompt has to be very structured so what is so it is very strictly ocr as you can see okay let's go back and let's try out another one this time i am just going to do a handwritten one so this is the handwritten i will ask it a question i'm just going to cut it and i'll ask it uh, extract the text and identify the languages there are various languages from english or european hindi and few others so it has done it and i'll just show you to you see i love handwritten to that it has done well and it has sorry i'll just go here so more or less i think it has done a good job what do you think the way the words get jumbled up when the writer is excited no that is not oh sorry this is the one i'll just go here yep i think that is good it says get neat when the writer is trying not to make a mistake yep so it hasn't read crossed out which is good so all in all looks pretty good to me okay let's try out another one i am just quickly showing you a few of the things next up let's do the flow chart i'm just going to open it again an ai generated one this is a flow chart you know around that what should i get out of bed or not tough decision and i'm just quick to give the prompt which they have shared so this prompt from their repo covers a lot of things like extract the text from above document it talks about latex and all that stuff let's try this one out and we will check what happens in the next one so it is running i will let it run while it runs it very quick too by the way you can see so i'm just going to check the vram consumption so VRAM consumption is quite high as you can see for a 3 billion model over 23 gig that is high i would say okay now so this is the flow chart it says it's a hand-drawn flow chart it's an ai generated one but anyway and it is about decision making process about whether to get out of bed or not and then it is talking about question box yep looks pretty good now if you see that towards the end it says with a small note if ever of reached if i show you my ai generated Im image you see it says if ever of reached so the spelling uh, are not you know correct in my original image but the model has corrected it so maybe we can ask it uh, because it has read naturally and sorry i'm just going to paste it again and what i'm going to do here i'm just going to remove this and and i'll say don't auto correct spellings let's see what it does i'm just interested in the last one 
you see it's not following the instruction it has again corrected the spellings nothing is perfect okay let's do another one this time i'm just going to go with maybe latex one so this is my latex image and i'm just going to ask it to um, extract it so i am asking it extract the text and maintain formatting of equations there you go it has done it only this one i'll just go up it has missed a lot of stuff you see doesn't look good to me nope it hasn't really extracted everything okay so it doesn't really match with what they say on their bottle card anyway i'll try another one maybe a simpler it's not simple latex is you see okay let's see if it can do that i'll just ask it in their own prompt let me use then and by the way i am using the same values for vllm which they have shown vram consumption stays there and this is what they have given us sorry yep yeah you see it's not really going there it hasn't it's not doing proper latex i'll just go up no it is actually sorry my bad it this is what i was after it has printed it correctly so we just have to make sure that we double check the response because in the previous one it was not good enough but this one as you can see this was my original limit in this one it has done pretty good yeah that is really reassuring let's try out another one next up i'm going to detect and extract a watermark from the image so let me first run this and this is the image you can see there is a watermark let's see if it does that it is a vibrant outdoor market scene at sunset with people walking between colorful fruit and vegetable stalls under uh, awnings. And then this is a water box sample. And even if it is not, uh, not horizontal, it is vertical. It was able to do that. And description of the image is also quite good. Okay, next up, I'm going to check out the check boxes and radio buttons on a form. So again, this is the form with some text and cross and then blank and then a couple of radio buttons and you see it has say, it says receive newsletter which is ticked and receive newsletter is ticked promotional offers is crossed out and you can see this is blank now this one option a was selected so it has put a dot here pretty neat okay that was good really like it next up let's see if it can isolate the signatures Let's run this. This is these are the signatures, and it hasn't really. Okay, let's check it out actually. So look, there are a few signatures here. There is some. I'll just open it. So some on cord or something, and then Jonathan H Davis. Let me go down, and then show you. So there is all that document, and it talks about some. I think this is on cord is good, and this one is good last one is not really good enough and you see this one it has muffler something it has tried to get the name i'm not sure if it is right or not what do you think let me know this wmj muffler anyway maybe hallucinated a bit okay let's try out another one next up again it is bit of a harder one so i have given it this image of various things like logos some other images and stuff charts I'm asking it to identify image types and then detail their content. So it says that there is a pie chart, which is true. There is a pie chart. And then it has identified um, close-up photograph of city skyline, uh, anatomical illustration of human heart. And then it is talking about bar chart, line graph. All in all, I think looks pretty good. And then all of this text. You see, it has done really, really good stuff. The maxes are also there, which are almost okay. So I think very, very good model, no doubt about that. Now this model is also multilingual. Let me quickly show you a multilingual one and then we will go from there. First, I'm just going to do a multilingual test on multiple language. I have this image and I'll just ask it to maybe not this one. 
So in this image, as I mentioned earlier, there are multiple languages from Arabic, Hindi, European languages and all that stuff. Now it has extracted the image, but it hasn't told me which languages are there. If I quickly, very quickly check, um, you know, very quickly, it looks good to me. Most of it, but please, if you are that language speaker, please let me know. Maybe you know what this Arabic doesn't look totally good to me. Uh, visually checking Chinese and Hindi look OK. So is Russian. I think it is Russian and few others. Anyway, let's do a quick um, maybe Arabic test. I will just go here and I will just select Arabic and I will just give it this. Now, it doesn't really identify the language, but it has done the extraction. And again, if I just visually check, I can't really uh, read it, but visually looks OK. But if you're that language speaker, please let me know. And this is not the language, it, uh, only language it supports. There are various other languages. Uh, I would say it is, um, if I remember correctly, English, Chinese, French, Spanish, Portuguese. German, Italian, Russian and various other languages, including Arabic and Korean. So maybe I will just see if I have any other, um, maybe Chinese or Korean, okay, Korean, I, my, I just got this Korean one. So I'm just going to go the Korean. What the heck happened there? Okay. Let me open a new chat and upload another one. So this is a Korean image. Let's do this. I'm just going to remove this because it just doesn't do it. There you go. Okay. It looks all same to me. So if you are that language speaker, please let me know. Now let's do this. I'm just going to go to new chat and maybe I will select a language which they haven't mentioned. Maybe I will go with Urdu. And I will extract the text. Uh, you know what? Most of it is correct. Most of it. Not all of it, but most of it is correct. For example, you see, I think here it has made the mistake. So look, try it out with your language. Let me know what do you think. But there is a lot of improvement. No doubt about that. Still a long way to go. Uh, far from perfect but very very promising but very keen to hear your thoughts please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot thank you for all the support